So me and my friends are showing off our lanyards that we got over the years because she found one at a bookstore, which I had two bookstores but got taken away because they wanted to put something else there. But uh, these are some of the ones I got. This is my nephew's that I keep on because he told me to. And then this is when I got my Dream Street and my... Hanson glow stick. You can't really see the Hanson logo anymore because I used it a lot at the 2000 Hanson concert I went to. The keychain I got at the concert with the t-shirt, of course, and posters and stuff. And then this is a broken one that I got for the college I work at. And I just decided to put a pin on that that says birthday girl. And then I got this one that says Tommy gear for Tommy because I like Tommy. This one's a really small one from 2005, uh, class of 2005, that I got from school. Here's this one I got at the 2000 free concert in Kansas City. Yes, it was Hanson. I even tried to write the date and stuff like that on there. And then I've got a Justin Bieber one that says Link on it. No, this isn't Justin Bieber. This is High School Musical. It says Link on it. Zac Eflon. My bad. I thought it was Bieber. And then here's my handsome one. The first one I ever got. So those are all the different ones I got over the years. That my friends want to see. So I was showing these off to my friends. On Discord. And someone had a really nice question. That I thought I'd make a video for. Because it's a really good question. They asked... Why is there, why is there a uh, watermark of the date in the photo? And then they subtract the question and go, is it something you put there or is it something that has to be there from, from your camera? I said, well, I'm using a camera, a Sony camera, and they put dates on their cameras yes you can take the date off if you want but why would you want why would you want a picture with no date because then you won't remember when was that taken that little girl looks like she's about three or four you know you have to guess my cousin looks like she's about three or four that could be the year of 2011 you don't know but if you had the date in the corner from your camera, bada bing, bada boom, you know exactly the day. You can go, oh, 2011. That means she was three in that picture. Cool. So that's why I put dates. I leave the day on my cam, on my pictures because I love to know when I took the photos. Sometimes when I take photos of like magazines and stuff. I would take the date off because that's pointless because why would you want to remember when you took magazine photos when the magazines are out of date. Oh, but uh, that's my whole collection and I'm going to go put them back on the wall and I've got to show you before I removed it. If I remember to, I'll put a picture right here and then I'll show you when I put them back up how neatly I put them back up. So, yeah. Here's a closer look, just for you people that want to know. I thought I had a Justin Bieber one, but I don't know where it's at. I don't know if it's too dark in here, but this is what they are at, usually. Found my High School Musical one. But where is my Bieber one? So I'm glad that I got... I know you can't see me, but who cares? I'm glad that you guys got to see my lanterns and what... And I get to show them off. I'm glad they were doing that one. Or my friend was showing it off. 
um, bookstore she saw an alien. Did I tell you that she saw an alien one that I want so bad? Yeah, I'm wearing my Harry Potter. I don't know if you can see that shirt, but uh, probably saw it in the past vlogs. Um, when I first got it at Christmas time, and I wish I had a high school or oh, a Harry Potter linear. That'd be awesome. I don't use them and I don't wear them, but I do collect them. And I like that I collect them. And I was going to say something else, but I can't remember what it was. But, uh, yeah, that's my collection. I just wish I could find my Bebo one, but it's somewhere. Who knows? Pirates of the Caribbean would have been a good one. My friend was like, there's a Minecraft one, and I'm like, ah, I want that too. If there's one with a bunch of creepers on it, ooh, because that's my favorite mod, mob in Minecraft, because they blow things up. But I'm excited that I got to show you guys, and I've had a good week, update on that. I, at work, I was supposed to do dining, and then they switched to me to dish room, and then my supervisor was, like, yelling my name across the room, and I'm like, what? I'm on my break. And he goes, no, you ain't. Get in here. And then I got to finish my break, and then he stuck me in dish room the rest of the night because the guy that was doing the dishes didn't really care to pay attention that stuff was getting stuck. Then the next day, I was supposed to be on tables, and then they're like, oh, people ain't showing up, so we're going to have you at grill serving. And then someone showed up at four, so they're like, nah, we're going to have them do it, and you can go in the dish room. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go dish room. And then the third night, I was supposed to be on tables, and this girl goes, the crew leader goes, I switched you with so-and-so because I know you're better in dish room, and you can get the job done, and we'll get out of here at nine. And I need you in there. And I'm like, yes. So then they, by the by the fourth and fifth time, they gave up and was like, we're just going to put her in dish room because she's going to end up in there anyways. And I told, the fourth night I told the guy, the crew leader guy, I said, what's that word? I've never seen that word, anything in here called that. And he goes, Oh, that's just a trough. And I said, oh, I hate the trough. And he goes, okay, then. And he races, races it and puts running. And I said, oh, thank you. That's so nice of you. Thank you for doing that for me. I appreciate it. It means a lot. And he's like, no problem. So I pretty much got my way, and I was like, whoa, I didn't expect that. I thought he was just going to say, oh, well, deal with it. But he didn't, so I was like, okay. But then it kind of worked out because two people didn't show up and one was supposed to be trough. So, or one was supposed to be running, which means putting clean stuff away. And they weren't, they didn't show up. So he would have had me run anyways. So either way, it would have worked out. Then the next day, the girl puts me in there and goes, I'm sorry, but she left at 6, of course, and she's a crew leader. She's like, sorry, but we got a lot of new people, and I had to put you at running. And I said, no, 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 you did good. I love running. I hate trough now. I love running. And she goes, oh, okay, well, then I made it happen. I just like to make people happy, that's all. And I'm like, it's cool. I like running. Now you know. Now you can always put me there. And, of course, we didn't get done early, got done exactly nine, because people weren't showing up. Well, we had a couple of people that didn't show up, and then we had some people, we had no crew leader in there, and so I was kind of the boss, and, peop and the crew leader was like, I just want to say thank you for taking over when the other crew leader had to leave. I appreciate that. I'm so happy that you took control and made things work smoothly and I said no problem and we kept moving one guy in and out of dish room which doesn't make sense I can't really talk about things that happen at work but I can ha tell you like things that happened with me that made my week so happy 
usually I'm depressed, I'm upset, but I wasn't this time around. And two people that are brothers that I, they are my favorite people at work. Well, one of my favorite people is at work. They creepily said my name really slowly, which was really funny. And then one of the brothers, who's a supervisor, he was said my name really strongly like and said what's up and I was like what's up with this this is ugly the ugliest thing I've seen in a planet and he goes I don't know go to find out it's natural national taco day so October 4th is national taco day didn't know that my friend took me to Taco Bell made me pay for it which is fine and food was great <laughs> so just having a happy week and today I got to watch a scary movie, no interruptions, and then people wanted to see my lanterns, and I was like, sure, I'll show you, because that's my collection, I, that's the one thing I collect, I even have a broken one from my college I went to, because I found it, didn't care that it was broken, because I just wanted to show it off, I didn't care, because it's just a collection, it's not like I'm going to use them. People do use them all the time at the college that I go to. I have a high school one. I have a whole bunch of them. And I got a handsome one, Dream Street, you saw all that. And I love, I love them. Now, how did I get the Dream Street one? Well, either I bought it or I got it. And I was in a Greg Lopasso's fan club, and he had extras and was giving them out so I think that's how oh no I was in a dream street every time I join a fan club either the band breaks up or they don't do it anymore and then it doesn't last long like when I was in Greg Rapasso's fan club he decided to give out trying to get rid of all extra stuff he has to us, even though I already had that kind of stuff, gave us extra CDs of his music, which I had tons of, I only need one, but whatever, I'll take it, because one can be unwrapped, and one can be wrapped, and got some other stuff too, like a mouse pad for my mouse, and some other stuff too, and then he's like, we're moving companies, so we're going to be moving fan clubs. When that happens, don't worry. We will let you know so that you can reapply or whatever and know about what's going on. But that never happened. Then I, I ain't paying 40 bucks for a handsome one. I'm sorry for that. But I, I was in the fan... 20 bucks is my limit for fan clubs. And I was in a Dream Street one. And then a few months later, it was over with. So things like that. But anyways, I'm going to get going. I'll talk to y'all later.